Alhamdulillah Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Assembly Mr. Rizky Honorable all of the teachers SMP HD and boarding school And respectable all of my friends First of all Let's give praises to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Our mighty God Who has given us mercy and blessings That we can meet today In this competition With a good condition and situation Secondly Don't forget to give salawat and salam To our beloved prophet Muhammad Sallallahu alaihi wa sallam Sallallahu alaihi wa sallam Who has guided us from the darkness To the lightness with the religion that he brought Okay Dear, I'm the master Of ceremony today This competition Let me read our agenda today First is opening And then second is Giving speech by the speakers Giving storytelling by the speakers And then the third is correction By the judge And then the last is closing So let's go to the first Agenda today is opening Let's open this Competition by reciting Basmal together begin. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, let's go to the second agenda that is giving storytelling by the speakers. So the first uh, speakers is gonna be Fadel. Fadel, the time is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So, before I start the storytelling I want to ask you some question Who is the richest Sahabah or Pemutian of Prophet of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Do you know? Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. So the riches or the people that have many wealth, it is Abdul Rahman bin Auf. So Abdul Rahman bin Auf was born in Makkah. Ten years after eleven, after eleven years, so his age younger than Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he can get title the richest Sahaba. Because of his skills in trading, and yeah, he's smart when he do telling and <coughs> saying. And next, Abdul Rahman bin Auf. Abdul Rahman bin Auf's real name is Abdul Amru, but when Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Thanks it become Abdul Rahman and one of the event that maybe you can learn from from Abdul Rahman is when he meet meet with Saad when he met with Saad Saad. Over to over to Abdul Rahman bin Auf his will and his wife, but Abdul Rahman bin Auf reply, hopefully Allah give you, hopefully Allah give bless for your will and family, but show me where. Your market is, and yeah, Saad found the market, and Abdul Rahman, you know, uh, 
thread in there in that market and after that yeah he be uh, rich after he do trading in that market and one of the things that we can learn from Andrew Rafael now he always do good things like give food to others and to people that cannot buy food he give it so he got a title golden hair golden hand yeah because he always give food is well and others Maybe just that about Abdurrahman bin Au, one of the companions of Prophet Muhammad SAW. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Well, thank you, Fadel, for the storytelling. It's about Abdurrahman bin Au. Now let's go give the time to the uh, the judge, the third agenda today. So let's give the direction. Okay. So Father, uh, it was a good speech. Before you were talking about Abdurrahman bin Auf. And here's, I just will give some correction for you. The first, your gesture. Your gesture is good, but please, like, your movement body. Go here, go here, and then, uh, your movement also. And then, your intonation. Donation don't be like clap like uh, yeah, yeah, like that. But like uh, improve your intonation like Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh like that. And then uh, you say before that much money many well. It's not correct, but much well because well uh, we cannot count well. So we need to put much, not many. And then uh, you said he do. Do cannot. He, uh, you need to say he does, not he do. And also, you were talking about Abdurrahman bin Auf. So Abdurrahman bin Auf is us. So, you need to say it uh, with top two. So, he didn't. No. Yeah, he didn't. Because top two. So, and then, you said that he be. Cannot. He be. Eh, he, he become. Or he, he can. Okay, maybe that's all for Thank you. Okay, thank you for the chat for the correction. Now let's go uh, to the second speakers today, and that was uh, Rapa. Okay, please come forward. The time is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.
Israel Abu Bakar Slow.
someday in somewhere, I don't know, Khadija asked to someone for looking her uh, servant, a young servant. And then someone find Zaid and then found Zaid and then uh, do transaction and buy him. Broke. And Zaid broke to the Rasulullah house and then, yeah, he lives there as a servant. So, uh, and there, Rasulullah treats him, uh, treats him seems like sun. So, so that's why Zaid can be said as beloved. Who beloved? The beloved by Rasulullah. So, his father looking for him and traveling, go there and go here. I don't know. And then go to Mekah and someone say, Zaid has been broke by uh, Abdul Mutalib. Uh, yeah. By Abdul Mutalib. or this father talking about Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he asked to there and there where is this guy where is this guy i'm looking for him and then yeah he found rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then he asked to give they back with money for like buying the serpent and Rasulullah said, "Let us to him by himself. Let him choose. Uh, he will choose me or you." So his father asked to Zaid, and Zaid asked, "No, I choose this guy. I mean Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam." So his father complained to him, "Hey, have you gone crazy? Why you're choosing someone that not?" own your blood not even come from your own family I'm your father have you gone crazy please come back and then they say I've been looking for this man for a long time so I can turn my I can't turn my face to back from this guy he treats me like a son more than you and then Rasulullah stand, I mean stood, stood up and then bring him to, to in the middle of Mecca and then say, O oh, people of Mecca, this guy has been freed up by me and I will adopt him as my son. Since that day, no one knows Zaid and until there's narration, they say, we never know Zaid as, as someone better than Zaid bin Muhammad but since that time also Rasulullah uh, I mean Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give a verse that the word containing call his call someone by his name father so since that day we know Zaid is so loved by Rasulullah so Thank you. That's all of my story that I can po po tell to you. And I hopefully that can be useful for you. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, thank you for the storytelling. It's about Zaid bin Harisa. So let's go to the next. Uh, it's about correction by the judge. Okay, for Milan. It is it was good speech for you. So here's I will give some correction for me, for you. Okay. First, you're good at your material. I mean, your material is good. Talk about this design, and then uh, there is some correction from your grammar. Like first, you said that. You live there, possibly he lives there. And then he said that his father looking for him. The correct one, his father is looking for him. You need to be, you need to put is. Well, there is ink, so possibly he is. And then you said that no one knows. Possibly no one knows. You need to put, you need to put as. 
so okay thank you for the correction by the judge and now let's go to the last speaker today of this storytelling and uh, the time is yours Fadlan Bismillah Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So firstly I want to ask you guys who gave you the brain Huh? Allah. Allah who gave you knowledge Allah. Allah So so that's why we have to say Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Because uh, Allah give us many blessings, right? Yeah. And remember the Dalil No one can count Allah's blessings So in this occasion uh, I want to tell you about Abu Bakr stories yeah. You know right? It was the best uh, companion of Rasulullah yeah, You know the answer right? Abu Bakr Abu Bakr is the first uh, companion of Rasulullah And the best yeah. And Abu Bakr gave the title uh, as Siddiq yeah. Or uh, sometimes Rasulullah uh, say this one For example Rasulullah say I'm a prophet, I'm uh, a messenger of Allah And Abu Bakr said, yes, you are correct Why? Because Abu Bakr is the best friend uh, the best friend of Rasulullah So Abu Bakr already know Rasulullah is uh, honest yeah? People, uh, the most people, what? his best friend yeah. Remember his best friend. So Abu Bakar already know uh, Rasulullah self. So Abu Bakar get a title uh, as Siddiq. And Abu Bakar is one of the Khalifa, Khulafa Rashidin. And Abu Bakar is the first Khalifa. So uh, Abu Bakar is uh, the best leader after. Uh, Rasulullah and there is in the some surah uh, and in that ayat talk about Abu Bakar so Abu, Abu Bakar is uh, uh, it's my opinion eh? <coughs> Abu Bakar is the best student after and uh, sorry the best uh, the best people after Prophet Muhammad so I think uh, Abu Bakar can be example for us. So I think that's all guys. Uh, I'm from Fadlan. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, thank you Fadlan for the storytelling. And now it's time for the judge to give a correction and also announce the winner. It's time for Okay. For Fadlan, uh, it was good storytelling. And yeah, honestly, the judge needs to give some correction for the participant. So yeah, here's I have some correction for Fadlan Rabban Jihad. So the first he said that Abu Bakr stories, the, I think we must change it to be Abu, Abu Bakr story. Abu Bakr story, not Abu Bakr stories. And then uh, second, He said that, uh, your accent. He said, what yeah, what yeah. You can't say what that. What yeah, what yeah. This English but Indonesian accent, sorry. And then, uh, you need to improve your No. Uh, he said before Abu Bakar get the title. First we got title. And then, your material. Material is, I think, too simple. Simple Abu Bakar. Uh, everyone knows about that. Okay, maybe that's all. And then, okay, here I will give announcement for participant that uh, will be the winner. Okay, why? I choose this person as the winner because the first, his material is good. And then his. Uh, uh, body movement and then his grammar, his 
pronunciation is excellent. So yeah. So I will give winner to the Milan as the first winner. For Milan. Okay. So thank you very much for Milan as the winner. So back to the master of ceremony. Okay, thank you for the judge for announcing the winner. So congrats for the winner. And now I just close this competition by reciting the part of Majelis together.